So pure math suggests that there's a better chance than ever that you know somebody who got COVID after being vaccinated. Pure science, of course, says that it's far less likely than if you're unvaccinated, and science also tells us it's far less likely to be a serious case. Though doctors are tracking those breakthrough cases. Our Mark Salger breaks down the new numbers. Of all the things that keep Colorado doctors up at night, breakthrough cases are low on the list. Breakthrough infections play some part, but the important thing to emphasize is they are the minor part. In the past two weeks, there have been about four times more COVID cases among unvaccinated people than those who are vaccinated. Unvaccinated patients make up 80% of all people hospitalized with COVID right now. The rest usually fall into a high risk category, according to Dr. Jared Eddy, the director of infection control and prevention at National Jewish Health. Many of the ones who end up hospitalized after vaccination are older or they have medical conditions or they're on some sort of immunosuppressant. Of the unvaccinated patients hospitalized over the past month, the average age is 58. The average age of vaccinated patients is 73. The unvaccinated are younger. The unvaccinated are sicker. The unvaccinated are more in the ICU. Dr. Richard Zane is the chief of emergency services at UC Health. While data shows the Moderna vaccine performs the best at preventing breakthrough infections, he says all vaccines are working well in preventing hospitalizations and deaths. We have communities that are 90 and 95 percent vaccinated, and we have communities that are 30 percent vaccinated. Part of what's driving breakthrough infections is the time that's passed since people got vaccinated. We are seeing a lot more breakthrough breakthrough cases uh, because of waning immunity. Dr. Ozzie Granardo is the chief diversity and inclusion officer at Centura Health. He says that's part of the reason new data shows Hispanic communities have more breakthrough cases. Given that there are less booster shots being given to Hispanic Latinx people, that that then contributes to them being even more at risk, even though they've still been vaccinated. Dr. Zane at UC Health has been doing this a long time and says this is the busiest he's ever seen hospitals. So what happens if somebody tests positive? The state is leaning more and more into using monoclonal antibodies more as treatment for COVID. If someone tests positive, Kyle, those antibodies can help keep the symptoms mild before they escalate to a point where they need hospitalization. So the state's sending out buses to do monoclonal antibody treatment in hospital parking lots to reduce the capacity issues and yep. get folks treated. But I mean, that's not a new treatment method. Other states have used this months ago. It just hasn't been readily available to the point where they can do that here in Colorado. This is something that they are getting new here, and it's new to be able to have enough of those monoclonal antibodies to dish them out to everybody who really needs them. And that's something that you're going to see a lot more of when the state starts having that capacity. Yeah, it's going to be a while, though. I'm here for treatment. Go to the bus in the parking lot. All right. Thank you, Mark.